We're back with another Ahsoka video. This time, the book of Boba Fett, Cad Bane. Only way I got it figured. The way I got it figured. What's up, action figure fans? The way I got it figured back with another Star Wars The Vintage Collection review in um, celebration of the Ahsoka series. And yes, I know it's Cad Bane. And yes, I know she did not interact, interact with him in live action, but they do share an episode of The Book of Boba Fett together. Um, the episode titled A Stranger Comes from the Desert. Um, so, you know, while it's a tenuous connection, I got this Cad Bane open. They do spin... Um, time both of them in the episode so close enough um it's not like ahsoka has all that many people that i can do reviews for that are absolutely related to her so i figured i would go ahead and um knock out this cad bane review so i got this cad bane from hasbro pulse and he is vc 283 in the series And uh, he is one of those figures that was highly anticipated. So the Vintage Collection, which is a line I consider myself to be in semi-retirement of, has been really banging out some really awesome figures lately um, this year. You know, Luke Skywalker, Imperial Light Cruiser came out and... To date, that's my like most watched video, still getting views. And uh, that figure is, it's got to be on my top 10 list of action figures for the year. So honestly, it's, you know, that's a spoiler alert. You know, it's going to be on that list. Um, it's also an action figure I bought twice. So, you know, I'm not saying that's a lock, but anytime I buy something twice, that's a good indication that it might show up again on uh on a on a top 10 list likewise here with cad bane out of anticipation i bought this figure twice one to keep on the card one to open for you guys and for myself so we will see if that pans out um but either way he's highly anticipated and we're gonna get into this video so cad bane Played and voiced by the immortal Corey Burton in live action and on and voiced on the cartoon, The Clone Wars and The Bad Batch. Everywhere you've seen him in animation, Corey Burton does his voice. And if you don't know who Corey Burton is, he's done a bajillion voices, but the ones that I always go back to are... Shockwave from the Transformers, Spike, and Brawn. He also did Sunstreaker. He might have did a couple other ones, but Shockwave, Brawn, and Spike. Definitely my favorite three from the Transformers. And, uh, yeah, Corey Burton. So we can see Cad in his package with his two... Western style blaster pistols. He's looking pretty good. This is his first time in the vintage collection. Um, he has gotten Clone Wars figures that are kind of stylized to look like action figures, uh, to look like animation in the past. Um, so this is the first live action style Cad Bane that I'm aware of. I do have other Cad Bane figures, and they're not they're not live action. So, so you got your cross sell here, of course, and um, several of these figures I do have. Obviously, uh, Boba Fett, Tuscan, who probably will get a review. Uh, Nyan Numb and Moff Gerard. 
I should be getting these guys up here because they're all Return of the Jedi guys, but, you know, I'm in semi-retirement. I don't get every single vintage collection figure anymore, and I don't have a sail barge or a Jabba's Palace, so it's kind of like, man, I don't really need these guys. But, um, but yeah, that's what's sort of the current wave of things in general. All right, so we're going to open up CAD and see what we can see. Here is Cad Bane out of package with all of his accessories or his loose accessories. Um, he comes with his two pistols as I remarked in the box section of the video. And they are accurate to what he was carrying in the show, of course, because this is the vintage collection. They don't really mess that up anymore. But he also has this hat. This hat's removable. And the detail on this guy is great. Um, I thought he had a plate in his head in the show. So that might be that might be an issue. Um, I thought he did, but it doesn't seem like he has it here. I know there's sort of something alluding to that on the hat, but I thought he had a plate on his head from when Boba Fett shot him in a deleted scene or whatever from when Boba Fett was younger. That's okay. Moving on to Cad Bane. Um, so, you know, he is right out of the TV screen with his brown outfit. He's even got his uh, the little buttons that were lighting up um, even after Boba Fett left them for dead on Tatooine. Uh, and of course, a lot of us hope that Cad Bane is still alive, but honestly, it didn't look good for him. And if that's the end of them, then so be it. Um, Dave Filoni kind of does a little bit too much of revolving door of death type things, which I don't enjoy. Um, not that Dave Filoni really had much to do with this directly, but, you know. Sorry, Dave. Don't want to throw you under the bus for everything. But as you can see, um, he is very, very well detailed. He's got his gauntlets. Of course, he didn't have his flying boots anymore. And uh, he's still got his air thing just in case he gets force choked. Yeah, he's looking good. Very happy so far. Now, the hat does stay on his head very snugly. So, there you go. Looking at his articulation, he can do T-pose. Of course, he's got the, ankle, the uh, elbow bends, swivel. He does have something of an ab crunch, but it's hindered by the belt and the duster. Legs, uh, thigh swivel. He does not have a boot cut. It does not appear he has a boot cut. I'll bend him up. But he does have an ankle rocker. So you can see there. Of course, his wrists also rotate. And his head will turn to a degree. And we can see here that the uh, air thing will come out if you turn his head too far but it does it doesn't keep him from turning his head and that that's cool I like that if you look up a little bit look down a little bit and that's that so we get him geared up
He's got his two holsters, which both uh, blasters can be inserted into. But I'm going to give him one of them in his hand. So we'll see how that works. And I do love the uh, the nice touch that they added with the part of his belt that's out. You know, they, the coat's like over, so he's like ready for any gun battle he might get into. And uh, we know that the character of Cad Bane was inspired by Angel Eyes from The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. And, uh, you know, I'm here for it. So I'm not sure if I want to... I want to have the gun out. Or is it good enough for it to be underneath the duster jacket? I think, I think out is better. Looks a little more. Like he, he might pull it. So there you go. Cad Bane. Not a whole bunch to tell. But, you know, we don't need it to tell a whole bunch. He is definitely a fun figure. Um, definitely, you know, you can pose him up. You can do some, some things. And, uh. Pretty cool. All right. Let's move on to final thoughts. Final thoughts on Star Wars The Vintage Collection VC-238 Cad Bane from the Book of Boba Fett. This figure is great. I love him. He's awesome. I know he's not a six inch figure, so I can't really get all into the articulation and everything. But for a three and three quarter inch figure, he has a lot of presence. Matches the energy of the character on the show. He's got his two blasters. He's got his blaster. He's ready to blast you. Shoot down Cobb Vanth, who uh, hopefully will get a vintage collection figure of his own. So that I can reenact that scene, if nothing else. Just kidding. I love Timothy Oliphant like everybody else. But, you know, he ain't no match for Cad Bane. And uh, and it was good to see that in the show. See him in live action. Even great to get him in plastic. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give, give Cad Bane... I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. Ah, really? He, that's tough. I'm going to give him a 9. I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. I've been handing out a lot of 10s lately, so I'm not feeling quite as generous... Is there anything wrong with Cad Bane? No. Um, I couldn't go lower than a nine. I don't know. Maybe if he came like a flame effect or something for his flamethrower, you know. But he's a regular figure. Then, he, then you're getting into deluxe price points. I don't know. I don't know. I think we're gonna do our first rescinding of a way I got a figure rank, and I'm gonna bump it back to a ten. There's nothing, nothing bad I can say about this figure. Not really. Um, he's a vintage collection figure. It is what it is. Within that framework, you couldn't really get much better. I do think he's a figure of the year candidate. Um, and I'm happy to have him. I'm glad I got him in my collection. So yeah, we're going to say 10 for good old Cad Bane. All right. More Vintage Collection on the way. Um, we still got a couple of episodes of Ahsoka left. And um, we still got Return of the Jedi stuff to get to, too. So that's, that's all coming. Uh, so stick with me on that. If you're new to the channel, uh, please like and subscribe to, to the uh, channel. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you go on this action figure journey um, with us with me and uh 
you know, I always try to be fair to the action figures and fair to the community. So please do so. If you've been rocking with me, obviously, you know, keep it coming, keep it, keep watching the videos and uh, there's plenty more to come. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off of here. Everybody stay safe. I'll see you on the next video. Peace. The way I got it figured. Boba Fett is a cold-blooded killer.